Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Markbook, that is how to enter assignments and how to set it up so that you can enter grades and the like. So this is the first thing that you would really need to do when you start using Markbook. So first of all, I'll go to choose our, uh, I'm going to use our diploma, extended diploma in computing. So this has already been set up. Now you'll notice that I'm using uh, the training uh, Markbook. This is green banner at the top. There's our normal one, which is white, and there's our other one, which is green. So this is the training one. And so this has already been set up. So uh, I'm, I'm going to use uh, some, some dummy data. Now, if I go to the course here and select that, that will then take me into Markbook. Now, you can tell we're in Markbook because it's got this funny brown colour. Next thing we need to do is go to course structure. Now we can view the course structure as it is at the minute. Previously, you would be able to import the course structure, which again, I'll show you in another video. And uh, but for now, we're more to maintain units. Now there's all of our units. Okay, those are the units that we've got set up at the minute. If we want to add new units, we can just click the button down here. We can enter the details and the like. However, what we're interested in today is changing the course structure. So I'm going to go to maintain assessments. I'm going to select unit three, which is cybersecurity, purely because I know it's an examinable unit. So it's not going to have anything in, in put it or in already into it. So that's what I'm going to use. You can see that we don't have any assignments at the minute. So let's add an assignment. Now, it's nice to have a, 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 a favorite way of working for this. So my code for this is going to be assignment, uh, sorry, uh, unit three, assignment one. And it's going to be called testing. And then we can select what type of assignment it is, whether it's an exam or a practical or whatever. So we'll just score for assignment for now. And then we can save that. So that's assignment three, uh, unit three assignment one sorted. Let's add another one. Let's call this unit three assignment two. And after testing, we want to repair. Again, it's an assignment. And we'll save that. Now let's suppose that we only have these two assignments. We're not going to go on and put any more in, but you might well have three or four different assignments for your units. So now we move up the course structure and we go to maintain tasks. Now maintain tasks is where we will tell the uh, MacBook how many pass merit distinctions we've got. So let's assume, so we're going to have a P1 to Four, so it's got four pass criteria, populate tasks. We then might have P, uh, sorry, merit one, two, three, for three merit tasks. And again, distinction one to two for two distinction tasks. Now, if you're pass or fail, then you just need to put um, the pass criteria in, obviously you don't need the merit and distinction criteria. So that's all set up now. We can change this task order if we really wanted to, but because we've done it past merit distinction, it'll display quite well, which is what I'll show in a second. So now back up the course structure again. So we've maintained our units. We know which units the students are going to sit. We've maintained assessments. We've put our assignment briefs in. Um, all the, the titles we've been able to maintain tasks so we know which tasks we want to do now we're going to say which task is carried out in which assignment so unit three assignment one testing has got pass one two and merit one and merit two oops, sorry not merit one and merit two I hit those off and merit one and merit two and distinction one and unit three assignment to repair has got P3, P4, M3 and D2. So the remainder. Now, if we save that, 
lovely. We've now got our units, our assessments, our tasks, and our task allocation done. What we can do is we can merge and relate tasks. So supposing we've got a task that is done very similar in another unit, then we can merge those or it can relate them so we can bring them together so that when we complete one, it actually ticks the other also. I'm not going to show you that, but here we are. We can say that we can do uh, unit 13 is uh, where we're going to take the task from and it's P5 and we want to relate that to unit 3 P2 for instance and then we could click relate task and then when those two tasks are completed they will auto fill one against the other we don't really want to do that because it's not I've just made that up for the purpose of today's exercise so back to core structure um, I mentioned at the beginning that we might want to um, copy our core structure from somewhere else. So supposing we had a course that we ran last year and we can search for that through putting the course title in here and um, the, uh, the, the, the appropriate course would come up. Let's search for that. So there, we are just at random, I've chosen the level one awards and ECDL essentials. If I copy that, if I select that, the button down here, which you can't actually see, and that says um, copy that data over from that course, which we're not going to do. And really, that's it. That's all that you need to be able to do to mark your course. Uh, if we then go to uh, back to Pro Monitor, Uh, my student groups, select that group again, DC303, and then I went to MacBook by group. I can now select Unit 3 and have a look at those tasks, and that's now ready for me to start ticking away with what the students have actually achieved or not, which I'll show you in another video. So, thank you very much.